Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Today I want to tell you about Lineage OS builds on the HP Touchpad. The brand new Lineage OS replaces the now defunct Cyan Engine mod, but pretty much continues exactly where it left off. Today we'll be talking about Lineage 14.1 builds. These are Nougat 7.1.1 builds for Android. They're brought to us by Invisible K. Big thanks to him, of course. Now check it out, I put a whole thread together here at XDA Developers with all the necessary download links and information about the ROM, what's working, what's not working, and everything like that to keep you informed. And of course there's a link to my full Nougat install guide if you haven't got it installed yet. If you do have it installed, you can just do a clean install through recovery with the necessary files. I would recommend doing a clean install, I've tried a dirty flash and it didn't work from other Nougat builds. Now let's talk about the ROM details. There's some very low deep sleep battery drain around minus 2 to minus 15 MA on average. The hardware, audio, and video are working just fine. Now what's not working, the Bluetooth discovers devices but doesn't seem to pair with them and the camera's not working whatsoever. Like other Nougat builds, this ROM requires that you increase the system partition. You can do this with JC Sutherland's TP Toolbox and you'll see that in my full install guide below. This may be fixed by the time you're trying it, but if you have a crashing Android open source project keyboard at the start, you can simply download and install the Google keyboard from an APK here. And if you want to enable super user, I've got the instructions for that here. Now I'm going to switch over to my HP touchpad and show you both of these steps. Here I am on my HP touchpad. I'm going to swipe down from the top of the screen, hit that gear symbol to go to the settings menu. And we're going to scroll down to the very bottom to the about tablet. From here you can see that I'm running the latest Lineage OS builds on the HP touchpad. Now tap build number several times until you enable the developer settings. Now we're going to go back one menu and you're going to see the developers tab just kind of pop up there. Now click on developer options to go into the tab and we're going to enable the root permissions. Scroll down, look for root access. There it is, give it a click and here you can enable it for apps or ADB or both. There, now we're all set. We've got the super user root permissions. If you get the keyboard crashing error, download the APK file from the forum thread, and we're going to transfer it to the touchpad with the USB cable from our PC. Place that on our desktop, explore the device, find the downloads folder in our HP touchpad, and place the APK file over there. Once complete, we're going to go over to the HP touchpad, open up the app drawer, and look for the file manager. With the file manager, we're going to open up the app. Now the first time we try to do this, it's gonna prompt us to allow unknown sources. So we'll have to do this first, put a little tick beside there, okay. And then go back. Again, let's click it to install. Once complete, open it up. And we'll need to enable it in the settings menu. Okay. And now we'll need to set it as our input method. Again, select the Google keyboard. And now we're ready to go. I'll show you in the Play Store here. You'll need to close that menu up the first time. And now the keyboard is working just fine. And now I'd like to take you for a quick overview of Lineo Joe S on the HP touchpad. As you can see, my desktop is running nice and smoothly. And let's look at the deep sleep battery drain with the 3C battery monitor widget. Here you can see some nice consistent low battery drain. Look at all those twos. That's a nice low score for extra long battery life when you're not using the tablet. Excellent to see on an early build. Next up I'm going to load up an 22 benchmark and see how our performance is. Here you can see a nice respectable score in a 22 benchmark. And notably the 3D score is actually a little higher than the Evervolve ROM. Everything else is about on par. Moving on, I just want to show you that we have full Play Store functionality because that was the biggest problem in Invisible KCM 14.1 ROM and that is currently fixed now. So excellent to see full Play Store support. And in case you're wondering, YouTube videos and playback seems to work perfectly fine in full screen and windowed mode. Low HP touchpad users, great news. Finally, I'm going to load up the forum thread with the Dolphin browser and just have a little test to see how long that loads up with the videos and such, because that can be quite intensive. Last but not least, I want to let you know that Lineage 11 builds are available from Milak in his Cyanogen Mod 11 thread here. If you scroll down to the downloads, you'll be pleasantly surprised to find Lineage 11 builds. 
These are some of the best, most stable and mature builds for Android around. My main tablet runs these and it's running great. I recommend doing a clean install if you want to move from CyanogenMod to Lineage 11. Big thanks to Milak for his continued support and updates of this ROM. Please like the video and subscribe to see the latest updates with the HP Touchpad. Thanks for watching everybody.